Welcome to NFT Gaming. In this video, I will be showing you Nyan Heroes. It is a third person shooter built on Solana blockchain that will have both PvP and PvE. PvP will be in the form of Battle Royale that will have up to 60 players and teams of 3. There will be no solo queue, only squads. You will have the option to queue solo, but you will be playing against teams of 3. So in this regard, it is similar to Apex Legends. The BR will play like a typical BR. You will choose a landing spot and land whatever you want. Right after landing, you will have a primary, secondary and passive abilities already available to you. The abilities will depend on what guardian you are playing. Guardians are basically classes. While the game progresses, you will be able to collect mana crystals. With these mana crystals, you will be able to level up your abilities and weapons that you find around the map. Rare weapons will have better stats, but only in the late game as you level them up. For the PvE, there will be adventure mode that you can progress in single player or co-op. There will also be guilds in the game, and these guilds will have quests, missions and even raids. There will be two main playable NFTs. The Nyans are pilots for guardians, and guardians are classes. The game will be free to play, everyone will be able to mint a basic Nyan for free and play a default soldier guardian in PvP. However, the free to play players will be unable to level up their guardians, so they won't be able to progress in PvE adventures and guild battles. There are currently 4 guardians shown on the website. Assassin, Warrior, Tank and Medic. But in the white paper, they mention five more guardians. The brawler, sniper, scout, mechanic and soldier. All of these have different stats and also abilities. For you to fully play the game, you will need to have a Nyan NFT which was already sold last year and is currently available on secondary marketplaces. You can stake your Nyan NFTs. You basically send your Nyans on expeditions and you gain CTNP the utility token as a reward. The longer you stake, the more you get, but also the better the rarity your nyans are, the bigger the staking multipliers you get. And then you will also need the Guardian NFT. As we can see on the roadmap, the drop for the Guardian NFTs will be happening very soon. The public IDO was delayed because of the current market conditions. After the IDO, there will be decentralized and centralized exchanges listings, staking of the governance token, mini games, game prototype, another guardian sale and land sale. Land NFTs will be used for creating guilds. The guilds then will be able to build many things on their lands, such as their own marketplace, job boards, repair centers and more. It is likely that the land in the center of the map will be the most valuable. The alpha will be happening in Q4, so we are still far away from the official release. Next year, they will also release their own marketplace. The core team members are LinkedIn dogs. The whole team currently consists of around 45 people and they are still hiring more. They do have experience coming from Sony, Wargaming, Bioware, Ubisoft, THQ, Crytek and more. They also have solid advisors, one of them being a Twitch co-founder. Now to tokenomics. They do have a cool video about how their token economy is gonna work. If you want to check it out, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. They will have two tokens. NYN will be the governance token and CTNP will be the utility token. The tokenomics for governance token NYN look like this. Incentives 30% which is the game rewards and staking. Ecosystem 10% is for partnerships. Liquidity is 4% and 6% is reserved for liquidity. Team 20%, DAO Community 0.5% which is a token airdrop for NFT holders. What I don't like about this distribution is the 24.5% investors. If you count in the public sale as well, all the sales take 29.5% of the token supply, which is quite high. From my experience, the average sum for all the sales is usually around 20% and this project has almost 30%. So that is pretty high and they are raising quite a lot of money. 
it is not a deal breaker though. Now the best thing. The team has a 1 year cliff and then vested over 4 years. So that is 60 months in total, that is good. The vesting of all the sales is very similar. They all have 5% TGE unlock, then a 1 year lock, and then the strategic and private are vested over 1.5 years, seed is 2 years, and angel is 2.5 years. The problem are the token prices. The angel sale has a 10x over the strategic sale, and that is strategic and not public. Public sale will be done in an auction style sale. So let's say for example, if the public sale will end up being at 0.2 token price, the angel round will have a 20x over public buyers and seed will have a 10x. So if the TGE happens and the token price will be let's say 0.2, what do you think will happen when these guys get their 5% tokens unlocked? They will all sell the tokens because they will be heavily in profit and the public round will get dumped on. Even the strategic round might get dumped on actually. Their vesting and token price are not really great here either. Of course, this depends on market conditions and the hype of this project when the TGE happens. Personally, I will be passing on the public sale because I don't think it's worth it as the tokenomics are heavily in favor of the previous sale rounds. These guys should not have any TG unlock, it just doesn't make sense. Their token price is just way too good. If I will want to get involved with the token, I will wait for everyone to dump their tokens after the TGE and then I will look for an entry. That is a way safer option than trying to get into the public sale. So while I don't like the tokenomics, I do think the project has good potential. Both the cinematic and gameplay trailer looked very good and the development team has good experience. That's it for this video, thank you for watching and I wish you a wonderful day.